Hi everybody, I'm Seamus. I'm Josh. I'm Ritzgarn. And I'm Chris. And we're playing Metro 2033, just like you knew we were gonna. Yeah. yeah. It's semi-popular demand, You're actually. so smart. I'm yeah. somewhat surprised at the requests for this game. Uh, I feel like the original kind of flew under the radar for most people. Yeah, I didn't hear about this game until it, c it kind of come and gone. And then in the comments, when we kind of asked, you know, what do people want to hear? It came down to, like, the, the front runners were like this and Max Payne 3. And Max <laughs> Payne 3 basically got had nobody speak up for <laughs> it. I think, like, one person mentioned it and everybody else was like, you should do Metro. What I is think it? I should I do that Metro game. What is it with these developers from ex-Soviet countries producing post-apocalyptic video games with immersive elements set where you fight mutants and their cult following in the rest of the world? Yeah. So here's the first uh, sort of dilemma we have here is what difficulty do I play on? And because... you know, this dilemma would really be informed more if they actually fucking labeled these in-game. Yeah, um, see, this game is a little weird with its difficulty settings. I call it stalker-ish because, uh, it's, it's a bit like stalker's difficulty settings. See, on easy, you are a bullet sponge, but everything else is also a bullet sponge. And on normal, you're less of a bullet sponge, but then so is everything else. And on hardcore, you're less of a bullet sponge, and so on. Then you get into the ranger mode, and everything dies in basically one shot, but so do you and you get less uh, ammunition and other pickups to to, to boot so with it. Um, I, I, I lean towards normal, if since it's such a weird decision, go for normal. Normal, okay, so normal is hard, what the, though. What the fresh hot rogering is Ranger Hardcore? Okay, Ranger Hardcore is... Um, basically, the Ranger... Uh, the, two, the two Ranger <laughs> difficulties... The two di Ranger difficulties are, uh, are they also turn off most of the UI elements and the hints and that kind of thing, um, uh, but but not to an extent that it makes the game unplayable, um, just more difficult, okay. like you don't get a crosshair and whatnot. So, inverse health relationship, UI elements, remove some hints, not all hints. Okay, so I have a question. So, my... Partially paralyzed grandmother, who is a veteran of Call of Duty games, but is unused to a PC keyboard and controller, and is semi fluent in Russian, wants to play this video game in her off hours. What difficulty would you recommend, Josh? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I mean, the thing job. is, I played this. I played this game the first time on normal, and I didn't really like the uh, the gameplay at all. I played it again on Ranger Easy um, about a year later, and I loved the gameplay. I vote so Ranger. I Ranger, Ranger, Ranger. Ranger. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of a lot of people are going to complain if we don't do Ranger because that is supposed to be the quote unquote real way to play the game anyway. I think to me, it's <laughs> up right. to Ranger Easy or Ranger right. Hardcore. I could do with fewer. We don't, we don't want to do Ranger game, Hardcore. Right. Amelia and I were close all possible, to the surface so. now. I, j so I just want the fewest number of deaths. The howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares okay, so now we're already time. hitting the first jarring My thing for me. This game has an option to actually have all the dialogue in Russian, the and it's like a, I, th I believe it's a Russian game. It might actually be from another ex-Soviet country. I can't this is a Russian game. Okay, um, so I thought that was a nice immersion helper because you know everybody's speaking the same language that you'd expect them to speak instead of just English with a heavy Russian accent. But the thing is, it only gives you subtitles for essential dialogue. So I'd be wandering through town and a bunch of people would be like waving to me and speaking to me in a language I have no way of comprehending. <laughs> and the only possible way I could interpret it is that Artyom just is miles away at all times. Unless something is literally shooting at him. So, this game begins... What's, what's the fancy literary In term? Res. In media res. Okay. How many games actually start here? Like, this is leading up to the end of the game. Like, how many games do this? Grand Theft Auto just did. Um, there are others. It's a little amusing 
with this being the end of the game, that he's like, Artyom, check these crates for ammo and mid-packs. Artyom, sometimes yes. the doors break down. Art and you're like, I fucking it know! Is, it is. Jesus this is, Christ! This is I've problem, done this a lot, though, okay? problem I had in, in Ranger uh, mode is, look at all, this is like, what, 12 clips of, of 5.45 millimeter ammunition? Check out how many I get here. I have one right now. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen... 15 and 25 after, like, so total. Many plays, after so many plays like Call of Duty and just is always ejecting their mags, this is what's left over. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Spec Ops open in Meteor Res with the, uh, well, I guess it opened yeah. with the, the Colonel scene, but then after that you got the helicopter scene. Seems like nobody's home. Actually, I think it might have opened with a helicopter. I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it's right, the helicopter scene. Okay, so uh, there's a little game you can play with this game, which is Is this ah. voice actor actually Russian? This is the totally of <laughs> This is this kind of an game easy ever. game. Yeah. You know, you'd think, but I was. When I played Dragon Age, I thought I, about Leliana, wow, this lady has the worst fucking French accent I've ever heard. And she's actually yeah. French. <laughs> so yes, I heard that too. And that, after that point, I keep my mouth shut as far as deciding that oh, goes. I'm not. I don't have any bullets loaded. <laughs> Artyom, reload the pressing R. Yeah, I actually know that. I was just, um... Sorry, miles away. Uh, so this game By is, the way... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, it has a, an interesting mechanic where, um... Uh, basically... Humanity fucked up, blew up the world, you know, great, wonderful, you know, again. Um, and the entire service, as you can kind of see here, is just totally fucked. Um, you can't go out here without uh, a gas mask, without, like, special protection on. Um, and the gas mask turns out to be a very significant resource in the game, because about a third of the levels in the game are done in areas where you need your gas mask. And uh, you've got to get you needed it. It makes me wish they had a gas mask mechanic in Fallout 3. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a good mechanic. Yeah, you'll see that this game does a lot of interesting things with its survival mechanics. Uh, that, that's something we'll be talking about, how that reinforces the gameplay. The, how yeah. the gameplay reinforces the story in that respect. You really do feel like you're s sort of scrabbling and scavenging and fighting for your life at all times. Not just from enemies, but from the environment. It, it kind of reminds me, in a certain sense, of uh, The Last of Us. The, the idea that it uses mechanics to sort of reinforce the texture of the world. The yeah. texture, that's I, good um, putting it. And it, Not it also the plot, looks the texture. really freaking nice. Like, we're not yeah, even no, playing on the highest graphics settings, and this game looks very yeah. competitive for although, any game released this year. Although we have kind of seen our share of this motif. I mean, really, the post-apocalyptic wasteland. I mean... The world has seen enough of this. Although they, they do a good job on it, I can't fault them for an execution. Glad to see you, Colonel. But I do have apocalypse fatigue to a certain extent. You hear that? That's true. Listen. Can I so can I just say what I was gonna say a few minutes ago, which is I apologize in advance to anyone who actually has who act, is actually Russian or has a similar accent because I'm going to be butchering <laughs> Russian <laughs> accents. About as bad give as, as give Steve us Blum a sample. Does. Give us, give us another sample. Hey, what? What? How come he gets the turret? I wanted that turret. This is supposed to be my mounted machine gun sequence. What is wrong with these? <laughs> yes, people? I love and it. And the protagonist. That's I. You are such. You are a perfect fluent speaker of Russian. That is amazing. You could probably go to Moscow right now and order a cheeseburger in 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 Russian McDonald's. I'm pretty sure Russian McDonald's is just regular McDonald's. <laughs> Josh, I think you got what one makes the, your gun. I, th <laughs> I think what makes the post-apocalypse work here for me is that, and, and this is totally a subjective thing, but th the fact that it is oh, in no. sort of this Soviet Russia post-apocalypse of Wow, Josh died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice somersault, Josh. Don't worry, this is scripted. Can't win in this sequence. No, but it's it's not like 
Fallout feels like a boring post-apocalypse because it's generically Midwest desert. Same thing with Rage. Same thing with most of Borderlands. This feels alien enough that even though it's a wasteland, it's not my wasteland, and therefore it's interesting yeah. to explore, if that makes sense. That, that is oh, a shit. good point. My, and my that's one of the reasons I skipped that. Oh, sorry. Hey, it's not <laughs> important. I, that kind of sucks. Um, it's one of the reasons I like the subway tunnels. If this was a... Like, if you were in the New York subway tunnels, I'd spend the whole thing time going, Wait a minute, this is supposed to be the New York subway system? This doesn't make any sense. Th this is stupid. But, you know, it's... It's a foreign land, and we don't know much about it. And it's foreign enough to seem exotic, and we don't nitpick all the ways in which it doesn't make sense. Um, and, oh, and it's the game's actually based read, on This novels? is actually... This is yeah okay so this is uh, this game is based on the novel Metro 2033 by uh, Dmitry Gukovsky I believe is the name um, and uh, it's fairly popular in Russia um, it has spawned like a whole bunch of uh, of derivative works and that kind of thing um, and he actually did some of the writing on this game I believe. Artyom. That's a really and, good uh, and, shot. I see. By the way. Hunter's yes it is. Yeah. You should have news from the other stations. Come on. Um, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's really interesting to see, like, a Russian-developed game developed for Russians with very different sensibilities from what you might expect with, uh, with an American-developed game. Um, and, uh, and I really like the sort of, the Half-Life 2 sort of, uh, of, uh, tell the story through various glimpses into... Like, yeah. Oh, this is, this is, this is Artyom's room. What does Artyom have? Well, he's got a bunch of postcards of, uh, of various places that probably don't exist anymore. It's got a, a guitar, which I can use to be the absolute best guitar player that has ever lived. That has uh, ever played a guitar by strumming <laughs> it with no arms from across the room. Yeah. Really impressive when you consider that he's probably using his toe or something, Let's judging by the to. distance. This game has a, a very dense... Uh, environmental storytelling element yes. to it. Yeah, you also I, I get like the that. sense that your character is somewhat important from the way even people are talking about him and demanding his attention. And yet, that is your room. That tiny, cramped cubicle yeah. yeah. is your room. That's, that's another really uh, nice detail. See, like, imagine me playing this, and I'm walking by, and all these people are talking to me, and I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> yes! And all they'd have I'm to just do like, is take uh, these English sorry, um, subtitles and match it up with the Russian lines of dialogue, and it would be perfect. What can we do? And I, I, yeah, how that's how hard I would, would that be? That should be easy, and I would love, that would be my, my preferred way of going through the game, is hearing Russian dialogue, and then with English subtitles. It just would just feel neat, and it would sell the, it would make this feel that much more exotic and different. Well, uh, yeah, obviously I have somebody playing it in America. <laughs> Right, I don't think it would wow the the folks back in Moscow. When you want to leave the station. So, uh, we just got right there, you saw that little flash? No, for, for people in Russia, to make the game feel more exotic, they turn on the English voice acting. And the Russian subtitles. Did you, did you guys see that brief flash yeah. of, of light when I talked to that dude? So, this game has a, a much maligned, um... There we go, we got another one. How oh, much maligned for various oh, reasons. No. Uh, I don't even want to call it a morality system, because it's not really a morality system, and I'm not even sure that any of you guys are even aware of this, and that's that's part of the problem. I am not. This is new to me. Nobody... No. Nobody... There's no... At no point does the game say, hey, if, if you do various things, like talk to people, listen to them, and, and, and do various, like, less stupid shit... Um, you will get How are the these these yeah. flashes in your Not screen, which means that you're getting points uh, towards a uh, a different ending to the game. Yeah, you see, um, I oh. might have noticed that there was flashes, but I didn't actually understand what they were saying. So for me, it was just yeah. like, "Hey, can I take your picture real quick? Sorry, it's kind of an old camera." All right, smile. Uh, well, I thought it was just a stylistic like, wow. choice. I'm really me too. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is um. This is actually uh, a system in the game where if you, you 
achieve enough morality points without getting enough negative morality points, um, it'll it'll a, it'll allow you to access a a second ending to the game. You'll be able um, to get the good ending. How do you get negative morality ending? points, and how does it indicate that you've received one? Uh, you get negative morality points by like you know murdering an entire camp of people and whatnot, or or uh, or, or um like walking by a beggar kid that wants you to give him some money and just totally ignoring him or stuff like that. Okay, so I think one problem with this system, from how I'm hearing it, is that there's not really a whole lot of ludic incentive to do either the it's good or the bad thing, necessarily. So it's, it's, a, it's a roleplay reward. It's a roleplay reward. Yeah, it is. It really is. It is. Um, and, and, and the thing is, that's it actually works in that respect because it's like I said, it's not really a morality system. It's not about Artyom is a good or bad person. It's about how Artyom views the world, which will become important right. later. Um, I'm probably gonna try to go for that because I want to show the uh, the enlightenment in the world these days. This guy is my most of what Stephen I Blum. Yeah. Hunt, Hunter Hunter Stephen Blum. Yeah. Okay, so when I played, he had this awesome voice. This really deep, like, dark voice. <laughs> he sounded like the King Badass. Like, I wanted to play that guy after five minutes of talking to him. He sounded like he was in control. He's named Hunter, and he's got those wicked glasses. He's like, oh man, this is the Russian Sam Fisher. He he kind of is the Russian Sam Fisher. He also sounded a lot less like. Maybe it's just because I I don't yeah I didn't know which like, words he was putting reflections on. But when he said that like my order's philosophy is you know we kill it if it's not human, that that sounded a lot less like yeah we if it's not human we kill it we're the badass reapers and more like tired. Yes. Like weary. Yeah, yeah like, and that's that's very intentional. Yeah. Stephen Blum, I don't think nailed that very well. <laughs> do I not get a hospital? They smell the blood. Do I not get a revolver? What? You should get a revol revolver in this. Oh, sequence. there it is. Okay. <laughs> I have eight bullets. Great. Oh, dude, sometimes you find bullets inside. Lo yes, I know. I did the tutorial. <laughs> Somebody told me how to find bullets about a month from now, and I remember. Okay, because it was five minutes ago. <laughs> So, I haven't played this game since I finished The Last of Us, and, and I, I forgot how similar this game feels to that. <laughs> Josh, you just checked your watch like six times while that monster tackled I'm, you. I'm it's, trying it's to remember. elevator source all over again. <laughs> that needs to go in the credits. I'm, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the keybinds in this game, because they're a little different from what they were in Last Light. Oh, that guy's already dead. Well, <laughs> I don't think there's actually any reason to fire in the sequence. No, no, there, I, there I did this a little while ago, and I couldn't, I couldn't manage to kill anything because every time I lined something up, they shot it with their automatic weapons, and I felt like a terrible third wheel. I felt ashamed, and I wanted to put my revolver away and sit in the corner. They have fucking AKs, and we have a homemade revolver thing and a knife. Hey, oh, any day in which you need your AK is a good day. Artyom, you, you can use, uh, this! Yeah, you're great! Just go over there, and stay out of our line of fire. And don't shoot yourself with it. <laughs> that actually worked rather well. So, I also have recently been playing Aliens Colonial Marines, and I think this game suffers the opposite <laughs> oh, problem from <laughs> Aliens Colonial He's Marines. He's dead, I shot this one! Um, Colonial Marines sucks when you're fighting uh, humans, and it's awesome when you're fighting the well, not awesome, it's still terrible, but it, it is less terrible when you're fighting the aliens. Th this game is really only at its best when you're fighting the really smart humans. It's sort of like Half-Life in that respect. The human AI is so much more better and interesting to fight, and the monsters are just monsters. Oh yeah, very much. That's, that's part of the reason why I like fighting, uh, playing on, on Ranger difficulty levels, is because the... We lost. The monsters are not any hardier than any of the humans. They still go down in like two or three hits. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. 
I, I appreciate that it's sort of you we, we're, we're we haven't really gotten the full backstory yet but the idea is that there are these mutants like the sewer mutant dog mo monkey things that you just shoot scores of and then there are this other thing that just breaks people's minds and you have no idea how it does it and I appreciate that it immediately sets up that like your your big horrible antagonist is something you can't you don't know how to fight directly yeah that really yeah. Under, that really that you sells can't the understand that's totally alien yeah really uh, really sells the hopelessness establishing that early on like by having you kill a bunch of these monsters and then have your what well, he seems to be like the guy in charge just go yeah guess what this doesn't matter yeah, yeah. I did like that. Uh, uh, so many games would be like, yes, we killed these ones, but there's more, and they're bigger, and their teeth are pointier, and you're like, yeah, well, I'm sure by then I'll have better guns. I must. And you just don't feel the tension that the characters feel because it's a video game, and you know how they work. So I really like that it did it did it did established that the real threat is against the mind, so you stop thinking of things in terms of your guns and your bullets. everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. Yeah, this is definitely sad more badass than Russian. Hey, Artyom, uh, some guys got killed of ours, so I'm gonna go kill like 60 of their guys. Here's my dog tags. If I don't come back, nail them to a wall somewhere, tell the kids how awesome I was. They want to grow up to be me. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!